Hey guys, it's Rain. I'm finally back again. Um, as you can see from the title today, I'm going to be making a man out of you. Because I got a new palette. Okay, it's not new. I bought this like before Christmas. I'm filming this in January. That's okay. I bought this before Christmas because um, I went to Hot Topic um, to find some things for my friend for Christmas and I found the perfect um, eyeshadow palette for her because it's cruelty free and it was the Clueless palette which is super cute by the way um, and Clueless is one of her favorite movies if not her favorite movie and I was like I had to get this for her and then I saw the Mulan um, Warrior Reflection palette and I was like oh my god I have to check this out um, according to the woman who works there she really likes it she uses it a lot and I wanted to check it out and do a really big and dramatic look with it um just because well Mulan is one of my favorite movies anyways I'm not gonna like take any inspiration directly from the film itself like you know color palettes or like um well I mean you know what I mean like not a specific look from the movie or anything like that I'm just taking you know kind of inspiration from the idea behind the movie and and kind of playing with it and seeing how it goes so this is gonna be kind of like a playtime video as well um so I'll swatch it and everything for you guys um but I just wanted to check it out and it's been forever since I said I wanted to do this video and I just am now getting into it because I wanted to do it for Christmas and no, well, that didn't happen. We've been new, I am a mess. I don't know why this is news to anyone but me. This is the palette itself. I think it's super cute. It's got the uh, warrior mask on the front um, and it's got kind of like a wood texture, wood grain texture on the palette itself. Um, obviously it says Disney Mulan and then it's got the name down here. Um, I'm sure there's people who have already done a playtime video with this. Um, so obviously I'm not going to go too into like details and everything about it itself. Um, but yeah. Um, and then you open it up and there are, there's 12 palettes to pick from on the inside. Very pretty. I haven't taken the plastic off yet because I want to do that on camera because you know how I like doing that. Um, and then on the mirror, the mirror itself has a message and I think it's super cute. It says, the flower that blooms in ad adversity is the most rare and beautiful of all that sticks with you. I think it's so cute. And like I said, it is cruelty free, which is always good. I think they said, I think the woman who worked there said that all of their palettes are usually cruelty free, most likely. Oh, well, all of their makeup in general is cruelty free, so. <laughs> Yay. But for $16.90 if you guys are interested in looking at it some more. Um, I don't know if it's gone down since I've been there or if, we're more, if it's more expensive online. I mean, including, not including the shipping. Um, but yeah, I think we should just get into this. I'm going to swatch it first before I get into the look. Hold on. It's going to take a minute. We'll get there. It won't come off. But yeah. Mm -hmm. That was so anticlimactic. Like, I feel so weird actually filming, guys. I say that every time I actually sit down to film, but I've only been able to like upload like once a month lately. So yeah, it does feel weird filming. Oh, and it also comes with a, a brush. It's its own brush that I probably will not use just because I have my own, but it's so cute. It's got the design of the, um, I don't know exactly what they're called, but the sticks that they um, practice with or fight with, the warrior sticks. I think it's really cute, the design on that. Okay. These are the first six colors. Um, you can't really see because of the lighting, but this is the lightest color down here. I'm going to list the names on the screen for you guys. Um, but yeah, I really like this one right in the middle. I think it's super pretty. It's really flaky and it does have a little bit of kickback in the pan, but it's not too bad. Um, and then there's these other two, well, other three shimmers right here that are a little bit more muted. And then you've got this brown um, matte shade. Okay, these are the other six colors. I think they are really pretty. The one in the middle, the green one, is the one that I plan to use in this look, actually. Um, I think it's super pretty. I really like the dark, like, emerald greens. And yeah, the one on this end, like down here, um, also really light. I think it's called Reflection. It's a shimmer shade, as well as the one next to it, which is a gray shimmer shade, are both really pretty. But I do think that um, a couple of them leave a little bit to be desired. Um, mostly the a couple of the matte shades but they're not too bad honestly i feel like the ones that i plan to be using do have you know they have a good amount of pigment in them um 
when I swatched, so pretty proud about that. Um, the green one and the, um, like the coppery shimmer are the only two that really had like really bad kickback in the pan, but other than that, wasn't that bad. And they're creamy. I really like the fact that they're creamy. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you've had enough of me um, talking. So yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna start with the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. Um, I haven't been using a lot of primers before. Um, I think the last look I did, I also used some, just because I feel like it, lately, especially with the dry weather, um, it helps a lot hydrating my face. Also, I did not pluck my eyebrows. Do not shame. Guess what, guys? I'm using a brush for foundation today. As you saw in my last video, if you watched it, um, I tried out the new Bobbi Brown, well, I don't know if it's new, but I tried out the Bobbi Brown uh, foundation stick um, that I got for Christmas, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, and I'm gonna, I used a brush with that instead of my um, sponge. And I actually really like the turnout, so I think I might start using brushes from now on. Um, just because the sponges tend to soak up too much of the foundation. This one, not so much, just because it is a stick and it's not a liquid, so it's easier to keep on the face, from what I can tell. Um, but we're sticking with a brush, because it's just how I do. Also, this is in Alabaster 00. zero. I also like this stick because it's not too heavy, it's not too like too full coverage, um, but it's like perfect at evening out the skin, which is what I really need because I tend to get really red um, around my nose and right here, pretty much on my T-zone, I get really red. Um, so it's nice to have something that evens it out without, you know, making it feel too cakey, in my opinion. I know I'm not shaming anybody who does heavy coverage because I like both. A girl can like both. Do you like my unplugged eyebrows? She trying to be thick, it ain't working. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape in Fair and just do it under my eyes and a little bit on my nose. And I'm also going to use a brush to blend that out. I do like sharp, sharp tape, sharp tape tape for the coverage, especially under, un, under the under eyes. That's the only area that I like really need semi full coverage at least. Let's talk about the movie. Do you like the movie Mulan? Um, are you excited for the upcoming live action? I am iffy. I don't know. I really enjoyed the cartoon as a kid and I still really enjoy it. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about seeing it live action, but I just, I'm happy that, you know, there's more opportunities for um, Asian individuals in Hollywood and in the you know the film and TV market so I'm really excited to see that. I'm gonna do my brows really quick off camera. I'm just gonna use my Benefit Cabrow in number four number four um, just to fill them in a little bit. I'm not gonna go ham with them just because they are messy anyways because I didn't pluck them so there's really no point. See you in a bit. I'm back. Um, so I already did my eyebrows. Like I said, I was just gonna fill them in. I also turned the brightness down on this so you could see my face a little bit better without all the light coming in and hitting me directly in the face. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape again and just do a base on my eyelids to get the best pigment possible because I'm doing something big and French here today. Um, at least I'm gonna try <laughs> and we'll see how it actually works out. Okie dokie artichokies. So for this, I plan to go really big and really green because I really like this color green and I think it kind of fits the color aspect or I feel like it fits the color palette, color theme of the movie itself and so I really want to use it. I'm going to go in with Dishonor on your cow. It looks blue on the camera but it is very like an emerald green. I think it's really pretty. Um, I'm going to go in using this, uh, the blending crease brush first just to get a general shape of what I want to do with it and then I'm going to blend it out even further and make it really smoky and huge. Um, and then I'm going to have pretty much a wing with it. I'm going to have, instead of, you know, rounding it out, I'm going to make it a wing so it kind of, I'm scared to use this because this one has a lot of kickback, oh my god. 
Ew, there's a crusty in my eye. Other booty gurus, do you get crusties in your eyes in the middle of a video and just like block it out? <sighs> I'm nervous. Anyways, here we go. That's a lot of fallout. But I live on the edge and I didn't put any powder on my cheeks. I'm gonna do what Lex does. Another brush to help create that wing effect. Of course, this look isn't gonna be anything spectacular or innovational. Innovational, did I really just say that? Innovative or new. Um, I just really wanted to do something big and I just really wanted an excuse to play with this palette, not gonna lie. I am gonna go in under the eye with the same color, so it's gonna connect, but I really wanted that, I just really wanted a big look. I wanted something that was, you know, extravagant and huge and that was cute. I am going to do a cut crease, do not worry about that spot that I'm not putting anything. The one thing I do like about this color is that, um, and this pigment in general, is that it stays on the brush. Like, you can like blend to the cow come, cow? Just one cow. You can blend to the cows come home and it's still, like there's still something on the brush. Um, Cause a lot of times when I play with pigments, um, It'll be very dwindled down as time goes on, but this one you can literally, like I'm literally grabbing some that was from my eye and it's continuing to work like, wow. I know it looks ugly now. And hey, it might look ugly at the end of the day, but at least we're trying, right? And I'd rather have, you know, a fail on my channel than like act like I did an amazing job, you know? I gotta show you both sides of this little gang we call life. Don't worry, I'm gonna perfect it around the edges. I just wanna go ahead and do the cut crease now to get it out of the way. Okay, and I just looked up um, just to get where I want the arch to stop. I'm gonna go in with um, Mushu, which is this bright coppery red color. Um, that's a shimmer. That's the, also the other one that had the fallout, um, but I really, really like it. Um, and I think it'll look good with the look. I hope it doesn't look too Christmassy. Otherwise, your girl is not gonna have a fun time with that. You know what, even if it does, we'll just roll with it. Cause that's life. I'm just gonna go in with this um, eyeshadow brush that I got from Sephora. I don't have any new brushes that have numbers on them. I ain't fancy like that. Um, mainly just cause I don't have the money to go out and buy anything right now. So yeah, ooh bitch, ooh bitch. I wish I could bring you closer. Here, I'll go forward. I love that color, holy fuck. I'm gonna go back in with that eyeshadow brush that I used for um, using the shimmer and go back in with that green and just come back in here and blend it in. Um, I also might bring this over a little bit into the green. I'm gonna go back in with this blending and just blend around the edges a little bit more. I actually like bringing this further in chair um because i want to create like a sunken effect to the eye and i really like that and now i'm going to go back in with um the smudge brush and go underneath it with the same green color the more i look at this the more it looks like a bird that was not the intention. I'm actually gonna go in with the green and put it directly on my waterline. I don't do that often, but I like the effect that it gives. If it's the same color as the bottom. I don't know, Great Stone Dragon looks like it would look really good. It looks blue in the pan, but it's sort of like a grayish shimmer and I might use that for the inner corner. I'm actually gonna go in with the one that, it, the brush that it came with. It feels very cheap, I will say that. Like I said, I didn't want to go overboard. I just want to create a little bit of a, a shine in the inner corner. I like it. I'm going to go off camera and do my other eye, and then I'll come back on and do my lashes and stuff. 
I'm still keeping you up close and personal because I'm about to do my lashes. Um, I, these are new too. I haven't used these yet. These are the Tarte Tartus Pro Cruelty Free Lashes in Center of Attention. Center of Attention. I think they're really cute. Um, perfect for this look. I feel like they're dramatic enough, um, but they won't take away from the eye look. Not that anything can really take away from this eye look. I just realized I'm going to have to trim these because I haven't trimmed them yet. Ooh, they're big. Ooh, that's a sheet of Son of a hoe. I'm just going to trim like... Whoa, what? That is so cool. There's brown and black hair mixed in here. I've never seen that before. Like, you, you can barely see it, but that is so cool. Right here at the end, on this end, hello. On this end, I'm gonna take off like a little bit, like right there. Okie smokies. I'm gonna use House of Lashes Lash Glue. Um, it's become like the holy grail of lash glue. I really love it. And I also like the smell, so it's a win-win. I hope these actually stick. I've always had such bad luck with lashes. I don't know why my lashes just, Never want to, never want to stick to my eyes, but I don't know. I try everything in my power. Nothing. Don't you fucking dare. Why do you do this? I don't understand. I like the lashes though, but I don't understand. I have to sneeze. <laughs> Calm down, rain. It's fine. Calm down. Shit happens. Oh my god, it's literally coming up on the corner. Oh my god. If this side messes up, I'm going to have a fit. My nose is like, hey bitch, it's running. Go catch it. <laughs> Overall, I do like these lashes. I think they fit the look really well. They don't stand out too much. Um, so... I think it works. I'm gonna go ahead and do my contour and highlight just a little bit, not much, um, with the Tardis Grow Pro, Grow Pro, Glow Pro, or Bro, Pro, Pro Glow. Without, holy balls, that is really brown. Stick to, you know, putting it right above the arch of my eyebrow and not on the apples of my cheeks, well, the brows, the brows of my cheeks and on the tip of my nose and right here. And for lips, lastly, I'm actually gonna use um, this NYX uh, Sweet Chateau lip lingerie that my sister got me as a stocking stuffer um, that I just now opened because like I said, I haven't done any filming since Christmas. This is what it looks like. It's really cute. It's, um, I think Sweet Chateau is the name of it. Like name of the actual kind, I think. Or bottoms off, I think it's called bottoms off. And I like the the cute um, little lips on the top of it. I did not realize how much fucking contour I put on my face. Like, wow, I look tan. That's actually a pretty decent color, I like that. A while ago in that Sephora, um, mystery lip kit video that I did they sent that grande lips hydrating lip plumper um, which has it's clear um, it's got a little bit of color because I put it uh, put it on top of some previous ones but I think I mean it looks good without it but I really want some shimmer on the lips just to keep it from looking like it's drying out you know much better messy should I make my hair I already look like a mess. Oh, but my hair smells good. Remember when they used to do those like scratch and sniff episodes on like Nickelodeon and you would like have to buy something like in the store for when it like airs or whatever? I think I remember that. That's the look. I want to turn down the brightness a little bit so you can actually see this really bad contour and highlight job that I did. Look at that. This is, me. This is gonna be me at the gates of hell, like really. My hair is already singed anyways. Um, <laughs> no. Anyways, yeah. 
I actually like the way it turned out. It does look a lot like a bird, which was not my intention, um, but I do like the way it came out. It was very in your face, um, which was my intention, so it worked out. Tell me what you liked about this look. Um, hopefully not this really shoddy contour job. Don't look at that. Um, but no, uh, tell me what you think of the palette, if you have it, if you don't have it, if you'd like to get it. Um, ask me any more questions in the comments about my thoughts on it um, that I didn't say in the video. Overall, I think it's a really good palette. I think it's a palette you could probably find other places um, as far as the colors go, but I think it is very well done as far as, you know, the gimmicky, you know, making it about a movie or a TV show or something. Like, I think they did a really good job with that. I like, you know, the fact... I like the packaging a lot. I like, you know, I like pretty much everything about it. I like, mostly the packaging is what I like. And I do like the colors, but like I said, the colors you can find in any other palette. Um, I think it was mainly, I was mainly sold on it because of the packaging, I think. It's not bad. I mean, it's only $16, which is a lot cheaper than you'd get at Ulta or Sephora, which is good. Um, and for $16, the pigments are not bad. The shimmers are great. Um, I feel like there's only like one or two that I swatched that I don't think were the best, but for $16 and 12 pigments and two of them not being the best, I feel like that was a good choice on my part and I think it looks good and I like the I I like I like it overall. I think it's worth it if you do want to buy it. I think it's cute to add to a collection of ones that are kind of fandom related, movie related, things like a lot of like the storybook cosmetics ones. I think this would fit well with that. I do like the way it came out even though this was supposed to be green. Well, it looks green now. Kind of looks blue. I don't know. What do you think? Besides the fact that you can see it in my nose. Yeah, if you like, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be trying to upload more. I bought um, a couple more palettes and I have some other ideas that aren't makeup related um, to do on the channel. I want to do more like lifestyle things. I want to do more, you know, hauls. When I, when I get a little bit more money, I'm planning to do more, um, do a uh, skincare haul and do a, probably from Yes Style, or Soko Glam, because I want to try a 10 step, um, I think it's 10 or 12, 12, one of the skincare, um, I think it's the 10 step Korean. 10 or 12 step Korean skincare routine that I really want to try and kind of get into the zone of taking care, better better care of my face. Like I've never had truly te terrible skin for my face. Um, it's mo mainly just been, you know, around my nose that I've had trouble with, but thankfully my jeans have come through with good skin and do like a, like a 30 day, like a vlog slash look at my skin throughout that process and I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited to try different websites for lifestyle stuff that's not just makeup and not just K-pop, I think. I wanna try to encompass a lot of different things. Please let me know in the description, I'm in the description, please let me know in the comments if you do wanna see more of my bullet journal slash K-pop journal related stuff on this channel or if you think I should make another channel directly related to that stuff because um, I would like to show that off because once I'm done with my K-pop one, I do wanna do a flip through. Um, and I want people to see and have fun and I like k-pop and I hope you like k-pop so yeah um, But yeah That was long-winded very sorry follow me on Twitter and Instagram um, I want to say there's another thing that you can follow me on Goodreads um, All those other things will be down in the description below you can follow me on my side channel Which I do with my sister called the k-pop sisters uh, where we mainly do reactions and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one Bye